This is a Testarossa colt out of Moonlight Shadow. He's just come in from a two week spell at Dens Park. An outstanding looking colt, currently being named by his owners. The two week break is done in the world of guild as it does these young horses. Very typical of his father. Strong, tough, and uh, hopefully we'll be aiming him up at the early two-year-old trials. Uh, you know, obviously if he puts his hand up and he's able to go further than that, well, so be it. But I'm sure the horse will tell us what he's ready for and when. Rock my Fuji. She's currently up to three quarter pace, galloping speed now. She had a fantastic first preparation where she ran second on debut in the $100,000 scone two year old feature. Then ran a very nice six at Canterbury, very wayward and green. Finished off well. She's much stronger, more mature now. She was always going to be a three year old type and her running at two was just a bonus. Now we're going to see the real Rock My Fujian, exactly what she's made of. She's looking really well, working really well. She's very happy with her. Miss Meteor. three-quarter pace working very well very happy with the way she's come along no problems with the wither whatsoever she's uh, she's coming along beautifully and as well as you'd want to stables very happy with her progress today yep. strong filly lovely moving horse We say it a thousand times, but that little setback of hers has proven to be a blessing in disguise. She's really grown into herself and looks very well. This is Lonzotto. I'm not going to get too close to her. She's always cranky. You can see the ears folded back there. She's uh, always been a grumpy girl, but she does have talent. She uh, ran her maiden race at Canterbury in a no metro win where she finished fifth and then was sent to Newcastle where we expected her to win or to go close anyway and uh, she bled out of both nostrils so uh, she's back in the stable now after an extended break and uh, we have it all under control so far very happy with the way it's going Owners have done the right thing, you've been very patient by this girl. She is a long row. She is a big horse. And if we can get her right, I'm sure she'll repay her owners with a few wins. So uh, so far so good. This is obeyed. Or disobeyed. He's not throwing as many riders off these days, so he's doing very well. Stable thinks he could be the little quiet achiever. He uh, He's a lazy little boy, but when you ask him to do something, he really does it well. Getting stronger and stronger each and every time he comes into work. As you can see, he's really thickened up around the neck and shoulder there. Really maturing into a lovely, strong racehorse. Beautiful head. And his attitude seems to be a lot better these days, even though he does still occasionally play up. This is a more than ready St. Kate cult. Very excited about this fellow. He's just come back from a two week break at Dens Park. Feedback from the stable a couple of weeks ago before he went out was that the track work rider who rides the majority of the stable's good, good horses in track work said that this fellow 
felt like those nice horses who have come through the stable. Naturally, feedback like that is not something you hear every day, so we're all very excited about his prospects. He's, uh, he's really looking the good so far. His work is... This is a ladies syndicate horse, one for the ladies, his name is. And uh, he's done tremendous from this two weeks off. He had at Dent's Park, as you can see there. Having a bit of a nap, dozing off. He's really thickened up through the neck and the shoulder. Beautiful animal, really tough. Very precocious looking. And uh, providing those shins hold up, we're hoping that... Uh, we get this fellow to the Magic Millions for the ladies and uh, collect that big bonus they've got on offer. But in all seriousness, so far, we're very happy with the way this horse is pronging along. This is Stratticus. His last start at Wyong was Nothing short of outstanding. He would have been 15 lengths off the field. Totally run off his feet the first 400. And uh, absolutely rocketed home to finish fifth. He worked with Straturbo the other day. And his work was good enough to suggest that with the fairly weak fields out on his uh, particular nominated race on Saturday uh, that uh, he may well merit a crack at that so hopefully everything stays well he stays sound and healthy and uh, we can get him to that race and break his maiden there on a Saturday this is Cosmic Cameo beautiful looking animal Won very well on debut, and uh, jarred his leg in the process, so it probably adds more merit to the win there. I mean, he beat the older horses by three lengths, and was made to work out of the gates. They were in ridiculous time the first 400, so uh, it was all upside down, and probably waiting for a back marker to come over the top and swoop over him, but he was just too good for them on the day and uh, he'll continue to go through the grades we're not going to cave into the pressures of Saturday racing just yet uh, possibly next start he will go to a class 2 before we make that leap into Saturday company this is Mr Unlucky, Straturbo one horse that always gives his all. Ran on the heavy nine first up. Over 1100. Finished fifth. It was a cracking run. He actually dived down on his nose out of the gates and then had to recover and push forward. Burn a few carrots and uh, that's what beat him that day. He then went to Kembla where... He took up a fanatical speed, running too fast up front. All the front markers capitulated, and this bloke still stuck on the finish fourth. It's a mighty effort in the end to finish where he did. And uh, we just got to get him winning again. He's certainly capable of winning in town. He's placed numerous amount of times at Canterbury. And um, we just got to get him into that winning, winning mood again. Confidence is everything. This fellow certainly deserves a couple more wins next to his name. Because I'm all the talk. Trolled the other day in brilliant fashion. He'll be first up in the Vane Stakes on the 17th of August. As you can see, he's still got a little bit of attitude, giving us his back. But... Uh, couldn't be happy with the way he's coming along. Big animal. He's really physically come on. 
and uh, we couldn't be happier with the way it's progressing so far, this preparation. Done terrifically well for a two week break. She's all class, this filly. Done a bit of growing while she was out. Looks fantastic. Thickened up nicely, though she's still got a way to go. But uh, in saying that, she's out of a very precocious mare, so it wouldn't surprise us a one bit uh, if on raw ability she got to these two-year-old trials and pre-Christmas races. She's just she's just out of a very, very good two-year-old mare that was um, unfortunately stopped early in her tracks due to injury. But again, we'll wait for her to put her hand up and tell us when she's ready. This is on the way coming. Had a nice easy trial the other day, but Nash was very impressed with what he had under him. Gave him a bit of a squeeze and in Nash's words, he could have won the trial as easy as you liked if he wanted to. Just shut him down, let him coast to the line. Now he's pulled up a bit tender. So we've got him out here in the back paddock. One of the great advantages of a Portelli stable here is these two big paddocks where horses can come out to relax for a couple of days and, and unwind. But uh, this is going to be a very nice horse for us. He's got a ton of ability. He showed that to us when he was on song in his first trial as well beating the Dali horse who has since gone on to finish second in town in his first start. So uh, we're just going to do the right thing by this fellow because he will reward his owners if patient enough. This is me spoken. It's really coming along nicely this preparation, this girl. Um, the hoof was a bit of an issue coming out from the pre-trainers into the stable but uh, stable done a great job the ferry's done a great job they made a shoe to help her help her cope with the additional pressure on that particular hoof and it's really done the trick by the looks of it a very consistent mare very unlucky mare Placing behind horses like Catkins, Bound the Blush. I'd love to have a stable of these. Consistently getting her owners to the city on a Saturday to watch a race and always giving it her all. Hopefully this is her best preparation yet. She looks wonderful. Uh, this is the filly by Snitzel out of Goolagong. Purchased this filly at the Melbourne Premier Sale. Uh, she has a Giants Causeway mare and she's just been broken in to come into my stables now. Um, she's a beautiful, strong filly. She's typical of Dad. Um, not the biggest horse in the world, but very, very strong. And uh, we're looking forward to see how she comes through this preparation. Uh, she's a late foal, so she'll probably have a little prep in the stable and then head out for a month. Come back in for another preparation where... Uh, She'll be owned at the early two-year-old races. It's a schnitzel filly out of Goolagong. She's coping with the work well by the look of her, Scott. She's a tough little bugger. Yeah, he wants to race. Yeah. Alright, we'll get her up the three quarter pace later in the week. <laughs> 